Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to express my warm greetings to all participants in this event on effective weapons and ammunition management in the changing disarmament, demobilization and reintegration context. The joint initiative of the same name, co-led by the Office for Disarmament Affairs, ODA, and the Department of Peace Operations, DPO, has significantly enhanced the United Nations capacity to develop state-of-the-art disarmament and weapons and ammunition management initiatives as part of integrated DDR processes. This innovative interdepartmental cooperation has flourished over the last five years and continues to be a source of inspiration and encouragement in working better together. In contemporary DDR settings, illicit weapons and ammunition are often a key enabler of armed conflict and pervasive violence. Secretary General Guterres has repeatedly underscored the central role of weapons and ammunition management in advancing lasting political solutions, preventing conflict, and building and sustaining peace. In his agenda for disarmament, the Secretary General highlights the importance of state and regional action on excessive and poorly maintained stockpiles as part of his commitment to disarmament that saves lives. The second edition of the joint ODA DPO handbook, which we launched today, will continue to support DDR practitioners in the design and implementation of tailored weapons and ammunition management activities in line with the highest international standards and guidelines. The updated edition, importantly, reflects developments at the policy level since the first publication in 2018 and ensures consistent gender mainstreaming as well as systematic integration of youth considerations. To support the operationalization of this cutting edge guidance, ODA and DPO have also established a standing technical assistance mechanism you will hear today about the concrete assistance being provided to national authorities in Haiti in the framework of this mechanism. We must continue to advance more comprehensive integration of weapons and ammunition considerations into the UN's work on peace and security and bridge the gap between policy and practice. I would like to thank Under Secretary General Lacroix and the Department of Peace Operations for the close partnership in this endeavor and express my appreciation to other UN entities, regional organizations and expert institutions for collaborating with us under this joint initiative. I wish you fruitful discussions and enriching exchanges during today's event. Thank you very much.